Hi guys, my name is Brian. I'm an art major at my university, but something I've never been great at is drawing. I wouldn't say I'm bad, but I'm definitely not good. <laughs> With that in mind, I wanted to begin a little experiment to change that. So starting today, I'm going to be drawing a picture every single day for one year and posting it here on YouTube in a video series that I'm going to be calling 365 Days of Drawing. This will keep track of how I improve and hopefully maybe even inspire some of you guys to take this journey along with me. I was actually kind of inspired myself to do this by a friend of mine who took a picture of himself every single day for five and a half years. It's pretty crazy, and if you're interested, you can find a link to that video here. Give it a watch. It's really cool. Lots of fun memories and hundreds of people and locations are featured throughout them. In any case, I wanted to give this a shot, so I found a couple of drawing challenges and things like that that I'm going to stick to kind of loosely. But if anybody out there has any fun drawing ideas, please leave them in the comments below. And if it seems like a good idea, then I'll give it a shot. Keep in mind, I'm basically a beginner, so things might not look great. They might look messy or really simplistic. So you'll have to give me a little bit of leeway here and there. Anyway. With all that being said, let's do it. So for the first drawing of this whole thing, I started off with a human male body, just because a character is something that is, I don't know, recognizable and fun to draw. I learned really quickly that Control Z is my best friend in the world. It's really difficult, especially when you're just learning this program. Uh, this is actually a program called Krita, which is a free drawing program that's a lot like Photoshop with a lot of the same functionality and everything like that. So if you're interested in learning more about it, I'll put the link to their uh, website in the description. Anyway, after starting off with a kind of wireframe look thing, just roughing in the different shapes and things like that that I would need, I went to more of a scribble sketch kind of style and really roughed in the proportions and solidified the lines to make it easier on myself later on. It became pretty clear pretty fast that the proportions were way off, but at this point I just want to get something on the canvas and draw. So after getting the basic silhouette of the piece, I moved on to some of the bigger details like the muscles, ears, and hands. Trying to get a couple different things going to make this guy a little bit more complex. And after that I start messing with the brushes, trying to figure things out still with this new program. Um, but after that I created a third layer and start going for a more final look. Really trying to take my time with each brush stroke and really get that nice solid line that some people can do. And at this point on the face, the mirror tool comes in handy. It makes roughing in the shapes super simple, so I just drop down a layer and put in a circle here and there, and it gets mirrored over and I can just keep going. So it's at this point that I really took a step back and just looked at this monstrosity that I created. Uh, his arms are way too long, his muscles don't really make any sense. Um, and yeah, he just, 
you know, this was just this was just trying to get stuff down. So uh, yeah, this is a good benchmark for my uh, first attempt, and he doesn't look very happy at this point. <laughs> hey guys, if you made it this far and you were even a little bit entertained by what you just saw, please consider subscribing and liking and sharing this video. It would really, really mean a lot to me. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.